world politics. So first we want to pivot to, we're going to touch upon some very distinct topics. Uh, several days, or a couple days ago, uh, we basically scanned the political news and there was something that was really eye-catching. was the idea that China owes over a trillion US dollars. So we're like, whoa, this is interesting because, uh, you know, basically with the you know, treasury notes, all of the, uh, you know, who holds what's, who's debt. This is kind of interesting. Where did this come from? So we, when we opened it, we were profoundly disappointed. This is the same spiel that was like in the year 2000 we read about. Okay, so here's the, here's what we think. Maybe we should <clears throat> summarize it first, but basically, we don't think anyone is ever going to get whatever, if those were bonds or something, we don't think they're ever going to get a single uh, cent of compensation from that because, so what we're talking about here, so we're going to give our political opinion here. We're, so again, to the friends of Taiwan, we're not talking about you. And we personally respect profoundly the Taiwan independence supporters. And we're going to tell, we're going to respect, respect is, well, we're not saying necessarily support, but you have to understand, uh, you have to understand that respect can happen. It can happen anywhere. Respect can be realized in the heart in the battlefield too. And what we want to say is that, um, so we're not talking about Taiwan. We want to separate Taiwan. So what we're saying is our belief, so, so let's draw a timeline. 1912 to 1949, there was, there was a regime that was not even a state. It was, it was a failed state. It was a failed, it was a failed state of family bureaucrats that received that basically funneled American dollars into the pockets of family members. It's a failed regime, a completely failed state. So, 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 so this idea that there's a successor government. So, so because this corrupt regime. So, so look, look what happens with corrupt, corrupt, corrupt regimes. Did you, did you, do you know how fast corrupt regimes can collapse? So, so this idea that. So, because a corrupt failed state happened to basically siphon money from the Americans doesn't mean that a real government that comes that replaced them for their corruption has any obligations to pay off to to basically pay off the transactions done based on either corruption criminality or both you have to understand that the so-called um, regime that purported to govern China, the so-called ROC, the Republic of China, was not a government. It never existed. And and there are people who are, you know, basically they have this nostalgia. That is a false nostalgia. So so this is why we respect Taiwanese independent supporters. We don't, we, we can't even comprehend, you know, if there's if there's 0.001 percent of the people of Taiwan that they actually like this idea of the Republic of China, what are they liking? Are they liking a regime that that sat in China and siphoned American money in a in a in a dark and corrupt manner? And so basically, this whole idea that that basically a government should owe trillions of dollars to a be due to a corrupt family dictatorship is completely. Nonsense. Completely nonsense.